let's see what happened yesterday at this Ripple versus the SEC. In the words of Brad Garlinghouse, he says, today was a good day for Ripple. A one and a half hour discovery hearing was held yesterday in the lawsuit with the SEC to decide the motion on whether Ripple should be granted access to the SEC's internal and external documents on the classification of Bitcoin and Ethereum. We have the Ripple team who is coming out and saying, you know, how, how did Bitcoin and Ethereum be classified as non-securities? We want to see that information. And by the looks of this, they are going to be allowed to see that information. So Ripple celebrated a big win as the judge granted the motion. And the SEC is now forced to disclose documents about external communications and formal internal letters. Ripple's fair notice defense also played a central role during yesterday's hearing. The principle of fair notice states that authorities should give regulated parties fair warning of conduct that a regulation prohibits or requires something to be done. Ripple's defense centers on the SEC's failure to provide adequate notice that the sale of XRP was prohibited. This also goes over important signals in favor of Ripple. Judge Netburn turned to the SEC first during yesterday's hearing and asked five questions. And with the first question, Judge Netburn also gave the SEC the crucial, crucial question for the motion. As Hogan enlisted, however, the SEC blew it. Her very first question pointed out that I now think was a big mistake of the SEC, suing Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson personally. Her first question was, did any of the cases you cite, were there any individual sued? And the SEC's response was an honest no. And here's the thing, the judge already knew that, and this was the SEC's opportunity to change her mind, but I think the SEC attorney kind of blew it. Yesterday's victory sends two important signals for Ripple. The first important aspect of Ripple's victory yesterday was that the SEC will have to create a so-called privilege log of documents. It's a summary of documents that the SEC has. Ripple can use this to find additional references and more information. Hogan concluded about what it means for the litigation going forward and says, now if there is a smoking gun type of document out there, in the next 30 days is when the SEC will look to get out of this litigation. This also conforms with, with Gensler getting on board. So if that is going to happen, look for some time in mid-May. Second, Judge Netburn set a clear signal in favor of Ripple regarding the fair notice defense. According to Hogan, the court will not order the SEC to spend, quote, hundreds of hours going through tens of thousands of documents, relevant only to Ripple's fair notice defense when it knows the entire defense will be thrown out next month, Hogan said. He says, I would be shocked if the judge would order the production of all these documents if the court is going to rule in favor of the SEC next month on its motion to dismiss Ripple's fair notice defense. So overall, guys, this was definitely a win today, right? In the words of Brad Garlinghouse, uh, today was a good day, and it was a good day for Ripple yesterday. That was the hearing for April 6th. So really awesome stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think we are close to wrapping up this entire lawsuit? Let me know your opinions in the comments below. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip and you want to see the entire video, check the first link in the description. That link will link you back to the entire video that is posted on my main channel. Make sure you subscribe to this this channel if you like short and to the point videos on specific crypto topics and if you want to see our full length videos and stay up to date with our daily shows then make sure you go and subscribe to my main channel the digital investor if you guys could also do me a quick favor and tap the like button it helps a ton for the youtube algorithm i really appreciate all the support that you guys choose to give and with that said i will see you on the next video